All right, everyone. So today I've been adding together a list of all the resources that you're going to need if you want to participate in the fusion. And I've actually come across some important info and a major warning to those of you guys who are considering going for the fusion. And I wanted to start off with that because if you cannot actually meet this requirement, then there is no point in going for the fusion at all. Because even if you're just one champion short, you won't be able to complete the fusion. So let's actually get into this window here in the news section at the very top here. A special summer fusion is coming. And this is really important. You guys definitely want to take a very close look at this because it'll tell you all the champions that you need for the fusion, where to actually get them, what events they're going to come from, as well as the duration that those events are going to run. Now, the warning that I wanted to let you guys know actually has to do with one of the champions that you need for Necro Hunter, and it's actually Vanguard right here. Now, the warning is this is a rare champion that you need for Necro Hunter, who is an epic champion that you need for the fusion. Now, there is no alternative way in order to get a Necro Hunter. Hunter. There are alternative ways to get two of the epics. Bushi here, you can either get Bushi from the rare champions that come from different events, or you can just outright get a Bushi himself from one of the events. And that event actually did start already. That is the champion training. You can see here that you can just get him completely standalone as an epic champion without actually having to get the rares to then fuse into the epic. So you could do that for two of the champions. Bushi was one of them, and the other one was, let's see here. So Bushi, and then also Basher here right you can get him either from the rare champions or you can get him standalone from the summon rush event well you cannot do that with necro hunter the only way to get him is if you already have him as a champion or in order to get him you have to actually fuse the four rares and one of the rares here vanguard you can only get it from a summon rush event so if you do not already have a necro hunter because there's no alternative way to get a necro hunter if you cannot actually get a vanguard as well then you will not be able to complete the fusion so very importantly you want to make sure that you have some shards saved up for the Summon Rush event. It's only two days as well, very important. You do not want to miss it. If you miss the Summon Rush event, that's it. If you don't have Necro Hunter, if you don't have Vanguard, you will not be able to complete the fusion. So definitely keep an eye out for when this comes out and have some shards saved up. Now, the good news is you can actually use mystery shards for this, but it's probably going to take a lot. I wish I knew the exact numbers, but because the actual summon rush itself is not out, we do not know. I hope Polarium, you know, doesn't make it something crazy like it's going to take several thousand points because the bad news about mystery shards is they only end up giving you one point each. But either way, I would say definitely have have at least a good amount of mystery shards saved up for situations like this it'll probably happen again in the future and if you don't then you're gonna have to use ancient shards which will end up giving you 20 points each void shards which will give you 120 points each and sacred shards which will give you 500 points each but the downside is if you use anything but mystery shards to summon for that event for the fusion champion there will be probably very a very very unlikely that there will be any kind of other summoning event going as well so no double rates no 10x event none of that sort of stuff so it is considered to be a relatively inefficient period to summon except for the actual fusion requirement so that's the major warning right there now, most of the stuff for the actual fusion requires energy as the resource, right? You need to either uh, work on the giant champion training event, which has got several champions required, or the tournaments are dungeons, which require energy. But there's a couple of other things here that actually require resources outside of just energy. And one of them is the Arena Onslaught Tournament. So that's actually one of the requirements for Bushi. Now, the good news about this is Bushi does have a method to get him outside of the Arena Onslaught Tournament. You can get him from fusing the rares, or you can get Bushi just by himself from the champion training event. But if you guys are not going to get the 20,225 points for the champion training event, and you need to get a Bushi for the fusion, then you will have to actually have uh, the points required uh, with the Arena Onslaught Tournament. And unfortunately, I believe the way that it works is we have one running right now this is not the same it's not the fusion one but i believe you end up getting more points based off of what position you are in in your uh, arena ranking so you only get one point per victory in bronze one whereas you get 12 points per victory in gold four and i know there is a major problem right now with the way the arena works so there's probably a lot of people who are stuck in the lower ranks having a very difficult time to progress and unfortunately completing this arena event for the fusion might be difficult to do so that's another warning that you probably want to take note of. Now, getting back to other resources, there are a couple of artifact enhancement events as well. Uh, one of the requirements for Bushi comes from the artifact enhancement event 2, right? This is the second one, but there is another one, and this is actually one that we have going right now, and it's a requirement for Bonekeeper. So once again, if you do not have a Bonekeeper, 
and you do not have the four rares that you need to fuse a bone keeper you're gonna have to participate in this artifact enhancement event and it is running right now so you guys have to get on top of it and you have to actually get that rare or you won't be able to participate in the fusion and if we go and we actually take a look at it right here if we go to artifact enhancement you guys will see that it is a requirement is 1500 points which is nice that it's not you know 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, something crazy like that. The entire event, of course, is 6,500 points. And if you are wondering about how much gold it's going to take in order for you to complete the entire event, it's going to be a big number, probably anywhere between 15, 25 million, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. It's a, it's a large number, but uh, to get the actual fusion champion, you just need 1,500 out of that 6,500 points. So you should be able to get Harrier for, my guess would be between 5 and 10 million gold. You might even be able to do it for a little bit less but it shouldn't really take you too much more but that's still something outside of just regular energy that is required for the actual fusion now besides that i believe everything else here requires energy so uh, there's a lot of events and i'll get into the actual amounts of energy that you are going to roughly need to complete this fusion but it's important to note that these events you might already have some of the champions right so the numbers that i'm going to give you are specifically if you need to get that exact champion for the fusion but i'm guessing a lot of people probably have at least some of the champions required for the fusion and if you have certain champions it's going to make the actual amount of energy that you need way way less you can't just take all the numbers that i'm going to show you guys and add them all up because a lot of the stuff also overlaps with each other like an example of that is going into the champion training event right there's a lot of overlap here so technically like to get the fury striker you need a certain amount of energy but you need more energy in order to get the anointed but the amount of energy that you need to get the anointed will We'll also end up giving you the first fury striker if that makes sense so you can't just add them both up because getting the energy for the anointed is also going to give you the energy uh for the fury striker there's a lot of situations like that with the actual fusion event so don't add up all these numbers individually that i'm going to show you guys um i'll give you a little bit of a better look at the total number overall at the very end but also importantly there are some other things that you need for the fusion and a big one is ascension potions you are going to need to ascend all of these champions here uh to uh uh, five star for the epics and four star of course for the rare that also means that you need to rank them up once before you actually ascend them because rares have a starting level cap of 30 epics have a starting level cap of 40 so that's going to take a decent amount of additional energy as well so here are the numbers if you have absolutely none of these champions ascended you are looking at needing a total of 80 lesser arcane potions 108 greater arcane potions and 12 superior arcane potions now the great news about this fusion is that there's an equal amount of void spirit force and magic champions so that's why these next numbers here are really nice and even the total number of all together void force magic and spirit ascension potions you need an equal amount of all of them is 40 lesser 36 greater and six superior so really easy uh, these numbers are definitely a bit easier to remember or kind of keep in track than some of the other fusions but also a couple things that you might want to take note of is each rare in order to actually take them up to their four star ascension you're going to need 10 lesser potions of that affinity for greater potions of that affinity as well as an additional five lesser arcane potions and five greater arcane potions now for the epics in order to take each one of them up to their five star affinity you're going to need 20 greater ascension potions of that affinity six superior ascension potions of that affinity and then of course 15 greater arcane potions and an additional three superior arcane potions so all these numbers here add up to the ones that you guys see 80 lesser 108 greater 12 superior and then 40 lesser greater and superior of each of the four affinities so that's something else that you want to start planning around right now because you don't want to find yourself in a situation here where the keeps you know you find yourself the last couple of days of the fusion and now you're missing uh you know void potions but you're not going to be able to actually go and get more void potions because it doesn't open up until a certain day and now you have to waste a bunch of gems and resources opening up the keep that you wouldn't normally have to so essential potions are definitely something that you want to prepare a bit in advance for and not leave until the last minute so anyway let's get back to the actual uh window here so i could show you guys a couple of numbers 
that are also important. And let's take a look at the individual champions themselves and the rough benchmarks for the amount of energy that you are going to need. So for Bushi, Bushi is the big champion, the 20,225 point requirement for the giant champion training event. You're looking at approximately 10,000 or so energy in order to get the points in that champion training tournament or, or event, sorry, champion uh, champion training event, the, the big two-week one, uh, in order to get the points for him. I don't think there's really a way to farm too much more efficiently than that. If you guys have some brews saved up, though, that can save you some energy. Um, all these numbers here are all approximates. It might take you a bit more. It might take you a bit less, uh, but it gives you a rough benchmark of approximately what it's going to take for this fusion. Again, if you have some of these champions as well, it's not like you're going to need that energy to farm them again because you already have them, so you could just use them for the fusion. So uh, the Fury Stroker is from the champion training event, and it, it's the first champion in the champion training event. So if you just need to get him, it's only going to take 800 energy. Uh, the Bombardier is from the Fire Knight tournament, which we do not have yet. That's going to take about 2,000 or so energy, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. It's actually hard to say because we don't have these dungeon tournaments out yet. We don't know exactly where Polarium is going to place them and the amount of points requirement to get them, but they're generally around, you know, like... 1200 1500 2000 points is what you need to get those champions so the good news as well though about the um uh fire Knight tournament is that will count towards points for the dungeon divers tournament as well the dragon tournament though will not arena onslaught tournament that's arena that's not actually energy requirements so if you want to save up some of your arena tokens and arena bags not a bad idea to keep those in the mailbox and then the stitched beast is going to come from the artifact enhancement event two and if it's running similar to the artifact enhancement event one like we have right now it's going to take about five to ten million silver to get so that's for the bushi now for the bone keeper here um Let's see. So you cannot get the Bone Keeper alone. The Cataphract is from the Champion Training. It's the last champion, right? So you need 5,000 or so energy to get him. But remember, getting the Cataphract, you're also going to get all the champions before him. That's why I said with these numbers, it's not really fair to just add them all together because a lot of them kind of work together. Um, so some of these will get other champions, if that makes sense. Magma Blood is going to come from the Spider Tournament, which will count for the Dungeon Divers. Again, about 2,000 or so energy if that's the only champion that you need to get. Cudgeler is going to come from Ice Golem, also about 2,000 or so energy. Uh, but that one also should count towards the Dungeon Divers, I believe. Yes, it should. Um, and then the Artifact Enhancement Event 1 is the one that we have right now for Harrier. Uh, it's going to take about 5 to 10 million or so silver. So that's for the Bone Keeper. Now moving on to the Necro Hunter. This is the important one with the Vanguard, which you can only get from the Summon Rush event. So if you miss that champion, you are in a bit of trouble. A uh, Hellfang is going to come from the Dragon Tournament, which does not overlap with the Dungeon Divers event. So if you need to get a Hellfang, Plarib has very sneakily decided to uh, make this inefficient, knowing that, of course, this is also the champion that you have to do the Summon Rush for. And it's going to take 2,000 energy or so, but it's also not going to count towards that Dungeon Divers. So a bit of inefficiency there. Anointed is from the champion training event. Uh, I believe that's the second or the third champion. 2,500 energy, but if you're going for the other champions there, then, uh, you know, all these numbers kind of overlap with each other. And then the Fleshmonger is going to come from the Dungeon Divers event. I don't actually know exactly how they're going to structure this, but a lot of the tournaments that I've been talking about so far are going to count towards the Dungeon Divers. So even though it says 5,000 energy there, a lot of the stuff that you've already done is going to count towards the energy that you actually need for the Dungeon Divers event. So... All right, and now the last one here is Basher, the champion that I am actually missing out on. And you can get Basher from the Summon Rush event, which is coming up on the 17th. So there's two ways to get him, either getting him on his own from the Summon Rush or from the four rares. Dungeon Divers event is Bone Knight. Um, it's going to be, uh, depending on where they actually put him, it might be a little bit less, but those tournaments will count towards it. Fencer is from the Champion Training event. Uh, she is the last rare, which is why she needs a lot of energy. But if you get her, you're going to get all the other rares in the uh, champion training event chopper is going to come from the dungeon divers event and last but not least steadfast marshall is going to come from a champion chase tournament that's not the same as the summon rush so another uh summoning related event 
and we don't know exactly how many shards that's going to take so you know once again if you don't already have a basher or you can't actually get basher from the summon rush then you have to get steadfast marshall and he can also only come from a summoning related event so that's why i said in the other video yesterday you got to be careful you don't want to go for these types of events and uh you know spend all this energy and then realize that you're not going to be able to get some of the champions that only come from summons and then you cannot end up completing the actual fusion so huge huge warning this has been a theme among many fusions that player has done in the past so those of you guys who are newer or maybe this is your fu first fusion i want to let you guys know that before you jump in and spend a bunch of resources now and end up regretting it later on so those were all individual numbers that's why i said it's not uh accurate to just add that st stuff all up because a lot of it over overlaps with each other so now let's take a look at it as the big picture here and you know an approximate amount of energy and resources that you're going to need in order to end up completing this fusion so if you have none of the fusion champions at all uh, and you want to complete the fusion from start to finish you're looking at what is probably going to be between 10 to 20 thousand energy and i know that is a big number right there but there's a lot of really important factors that can lower this a lot obviously if you already have some of the fusion champions but another thing is like your double experience boost if you have the raid pass um, if you have any food that is already available in order to rank up your fusion champions that's going to take a decent amount of energy as well so it's going to be a wide range depending on your your progress and where you're at in the game but either way it's still a good amount of energy so if you guys are have no resources and no energy saved up and you don't plan to make Make any purchases in the game or anything like that it's gonna be a long shot i'd say it's probably just gonna be impossible honestly that's that's the better way of really saying it silver you're gonna need silver for that artifact enhancement event as well uh you don't need to complete it that's why the number is five to ten million or so just in order to get the fusion champions themselves and of course the shards for summons you're going to need those um and if you don't have them that you just quite simply won't be able to complete the fusion so I know this video had an insane amount of info. Um, I wanted to do a video like this though because it's really important to get this out there so that people don't get deceived into going for the fusion, realizing that they can't complete it and now have wasted a bunch of resources. That's the worst feeling in the world. I've been there before and I don't want anybody to have to go through that. So hopefully the information in this video helped you guys out. Uh, and if it did and you guys want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to leave a quick like as well. It means more than you can imagine. So a huge shout out to all of you guys who decide to do that. And more Raid Shadow Legends videos, guides, tutorials, and all that fun stuff should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check them out. They also might be in the suggested videos to your right or below. But if not, have a fantastic day. Take care, everyone. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.